Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're taking a look at Lunala Prism Star in Lunala GX, I guess. Um, so, uh, I want to try and cover the Prism Star cards, you know, Darkrai, I want to make a deck around Darkrai Prism Star, which, you know, pretty obvious, and um, there's also Giratina Prism Star, which isn't as good as Darkrai, but we are going to try it out, and we don't actually play it in this deck. The reason for that is because we don't really rely on having Giratina to kind of have it in play, if that makes any sense. Basically, we don't need Giratina in here, I don't think. But if you want to try and fit in Giratina, Prism Star, be my guest. But I don't really think we need it in this deck, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to try and make a deck around this card, and I'm going to try and do something with that ability, and probably Ninja Boy, so I'm going to try and make like a little unique Giratina deck. The other Prism Star cards, we have obviously Sogaleo which we've already kind of made a video on, but we can maybe do another Sokaleo-esque video. But we're going to try and focus on Lunala today, and I think the last Prism Star card, it will be Boost Energy, which I might make a video on soon, because I do actually want to try this out in like a couple of Stage 2 decks. So, um, Lunala Toolbox updated with Prism Star Lunala. Now, unfortunately, Lunala will never be good, in my opinion, because it is weighed down so heavily by that dark weakness to Zoark. Lunala GX is weak to Zoark, now, Zoark does do 120 damage max without a choice ban, so technically Lunala can take a hit from Zoark. However, Zoark tends to play maybe Reverse Valley, Devoured Field, Choice Ban, so Lunala is not going to take a hit at all. Zoark will always one-shot Lunala, especially if you play against Zoark Lycanroc, which is basically this deck's worst matchup in my opinion, because Lunala will get steamrolled by Bloodthirsty Eyes and... Zoark's attack, like, Lunala won't live, but we'll try and see if we can play some games without running into Zoark at all, hopefully, which is, I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of uh, Zoark Gardevoir hype right now, since Oceana was just last weekend, and since Tord, or not last weekend, literally this weekend, sorry, but yeah, since Tord just won the regionals with his Gardevoir Zoark deck that him and his crew brought, it's like, ooh. we're gonna run into a lot of that, which kind of tempts me to just grind the ladder with metal, so... Hopefully we don't play against too much Zoark, but Lunala GX is a pretty decent card. It's never been able to be good because Dark has always been a pretty powerful type in the game. You have Psychic Transfer, which is what makes this card so good. Once you're in turn for your attack, you may move as many Psychic Energies as you want from Pokemon to So, you get my point. So, you can use Lunala's ability to kind of move the energy around, max potion, heal, move the energy back. We have Lunala's attacks. Now, Moonguy's Beam is okay. 4 for 120 is a little too much energy for 120 damage. The defending Pokemon can't be healed. I mean, this is okay if you're playing against Sylveon or, I guess, Gardevoir too, because they do use max potions. Um, then you have Lunar Fall GX. Knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon. That is not a GX. Unfortunately, this attack is a little underwhelming because EXs are diminishing. The only EXs you'll take out are Volcanians, maybe Darkrise, if people are playtesting prism star but yeah there's like not many basic GX EXs anymore it's kind of all about basic pokemon that evolve into GXs or basic GXs so lunar fall you never want to knock out a basic with unless it's like really good to like kick out of only magnemite and play so the other GX attack we're going to be using is probably going to be psy strike now we do play two mewtwo GX in here mewtwo GX has never really been a great card however you know what it may actually not be as bad as people think um, in Lu in um, Lunala Box, Mewtwo GX is actually kind of decent. So you have the attack full burst for one second energy. This attack is 30 damage times the number of energy attached to this Pokemon. That's not bad. It's a lot of energy, though, to take something out. And considering Lele and Gardevoir are so popular, it's kind of risky. You have Super Absorption. 2 for 60, heal 30 is really, really bad. I wish it did, like, maybe 2 for 80 at least. And then you can put a Choice Paint on and you can two-shot most Pokemon. And then you have Psy Strike, which does 200 damage. For three psychics, and we're gonna use Psy Strike because with the choice ban, ooh, train went through. Because with the choice ban, hope please be Celesteela. Yes, thank the Lord. Okay, anyways, but yeah, we're gonna be using Psy Strike most of the time, and um, with Psy Strike, we're gonna be able to one shot most Pokemon like Zoarks, like Galissapods, like Guardies with the choice ban. So Mewtwo's kind of, um, kind of the thing. Now, we do play two of those. We do play one Drampa. I didn't really know what the other attacker in this deck could be. I was considering running maybe, like, Necrozma, maybe Wobbuffet. 
but I ended up with Trampa because you can use Righteous Edge to your advantage, in my opinion. Maybe you can help against Zoark a little bit. You have access to Berserk with Altar of the Moon, so you have access to doing pretty big Berserks a lot of the time, and maybe Big Wheel will be be useful. And um, we got two Lele's, of course. But yeah, we're going to be using Prism Star Lunala with that attack Full Moon Star for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Attach a second energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon we like. Late game, early game, this is how we're going to build up energies. Originally, Lunala relied on Max Elixirs to get energy to play. We still do play them, because if Prism Star Lunala gets prized, it's like, well, that's going to suck. Now, another card that I've seen people use is um, Shining Mew with Legendary Guidance. I like Mew, but with 30 HP, you're not going to take a hit, and I actually would rather just normally accelerate energies than just lose a prize. But I, you can play Shiny Mew if you want. So those are all the Pokemon. We got our 4, 2, 4. Yes, yeah, so organized with the Lunalas. I know I have one of each Lunala GX. I'm trying to trade this off for a second one of these. So we do play this Lunala too, which is really good. Um, and those are Pokemon. One Field Blower, unfortunately, I cannot fit two more, um, but maybe you get lucky, Garbodor isn't as popular as it once was. Three Max Elixirs to get Energy in play. Two Max Potion. I do play two Max Potion and one Ace Rolla. This is one of the ways we are going to accelerate energies. Four Rare Candies to maximize the Lunala potential. One Super Run to get your Pokemon back. Four Ultra Balls to search your deck for your Pokemon. Three Altar of the Moon. Giving you Free Retreat is very important with this deck. You can also chain it with Drampa and Berserk. Again, we went over Ace Rolla. We do play one Bridget, since turn one Bridgets are important. Three Cynthias for Jaw, three Guzmas, two Ends, three Sycamores, just basic supporters. Um, two Choice Bands. Now, I don't play three because you're not actually hitting for big enough numbers most of the time. Like, Lunala's Moon Guys Beams, 120, 150, doesn't really matter. Even Mewtwo, to a degree, it's like, whatever. You can get away with two Choice Bands over three, in my opinion. And then 11 basic Psychic Energies. And this is my Lunala Prism Star box deck. We'll see if this actually ends up working. For us, again, this matchup kind of, or this deck kind of has a bad matchup against Zoark Lycanroc because, like, Lycanroc but there's the eyes, and Zoark's attack can just bring out the Lunalas and knock him out. But if, as long as we don't play against Zoark, you know, we should be okay, maybe, unless we're playing against Vikabulu or something like that. But we'll see if we can get a good match with this deck, and uh, we'll see if Prism Star Lunala is able to give Lunala. Alright, let's find some matches with our Lunala deck. Don't expect to win every game. Again, Lunala, I just don't think was, like, ever going to be super good. Lunala, I think, ultimately, can never really be good, because as long as we have a good Dark type in the format, Lunala will never be good, in my opinion, unless they come out with, like, oh, maybe Lunala Sogaleo could be okay with the new Sogaleo that, like, gets rid of weakness. That could be a possibility. But Lunala is like, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of just too much. We'll try and make this deck work. So we are going to start with Mewtwo and Cosmoem. Our hand is okay, I guess. I could probably afford to get rid of Guzma and maybe the Cosmoem. Or maybe no, because I'll probably do Bridget. My opponent opens with a Turdinator of all cards, okay. Um, he could be playing a Infernape deck, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. My opponent's me with a heart, I'm assuming it's a fan, so I'm hitting with a heart and a hello. So, I guess we'll get rid of Guzma and Ace Rolla. I don't know if I want to, I, like, I want to keep Max Potion. Um, so we'll grab Lele, hopefully Bridget's in the deck. Okay, good. So we can do Lele here for Bridget. Probably gonna get two Cosmogs and maybe the Lunala? Prism Star, just to get it into play. The thing is with Lunala Prism Star, like, if your bench is full, it's in your hand, you have to do Sycamore, you lose it for the whole game, and then just, like, rip. So I think it's important to always get Lunala Prism Star into play. I think we'll pass. So, we have a decent starting hand. I don't know what my opponent's exactly playing. I'm assuming it's, like, an Infernape deck. I kind of want to try out Infernape, too. There's a lot of good Ultra Prism Rogues to try out, which is what's cool about this set. So you can actually hit me for 40 here, maybe 70 with the burns. So it's going to be interesting. Ultra Ball. Okay, this is... Is he playing, like, Quad Turnator? It's gotta be, like, a Turnator Inferno deck. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. So he grabs a Lele. Okay, we'll see if he grabs a Bridget and Sycamore or Cynthia. Let's see. So Lele's going down. Can we get knocked out next turn? I don't think we can. Maybe if, like, we get all tails on burn. We'll see. So, Bridget. So, he is going to do Bridget. So, my opponent definitely has another supporter in his hand. Mm, he's probably going to grab Chimchar because I'm assuming this is an Infernape deck. 
Yep, that's right. It is Infernape. Okay. This is kind of where Max Potion is going to be good, because if you can't one-shot me, we can really take advantage of it. We've seen Instruct for two. We are going to take 70 damage, I think, because Burn does do 20 damage more. Oh, no, 60. Why did I think he was doing 50? I don't know. A, okay, we're not burned. So we have 130 HP. I don't think we'll get knocked out next turn. Um, so we'll put down Cosmoem. I think we just do Guzma, or not Guzma, Cynthia, sorry, because I want to keep Max Potion. And let's see, we do get Rare Candy Lunala, which is pretty good. We should actually be able to knock him out here. If this hits, this is going to be big. I already does, nice. So we do have a knockout, I think. How much is Full Burst doing? No, it's only doing 90. We could do Psy Strike and knock him out, but that's a waste of the GX attack. I could do Lunar Fall, maybe take out the Orangaroo. I don't mind that, actually. Maybe even take out a Chimchar. Could do Energy Drive 2. I could also just do Super Absorption, just heal myself, but then I can't two-shot him, but... I kind of actually feel like taking out that Oranguru, I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of think taking out Oranguru here would not be a bad idea. Hmm. We can't one-shot. I think actually maybe we just hit him for 60. We, we can't really one-shot this thing with Mewtwo or Lunala. We'd actually have to go Drampa here, so we'll actually just do this for now. Maybe I should have moved the Psychic off of this and put it on the Lunala GX because he can take a hit, but it is what it is. He does have Rare Candy Infernape, so if he has like a Sycamore in his hand or something, then I won't really regret not knocking out that Oranguru. I'm curious, does Flaming Fighter stack? Oh wow, an Ace Roller. That's pretty bad. Yikes, we're taking a lot of damage here because I had Infernape. I don't know if we can actually do much about this. We do see an Ultra Ball. Alright, so yeah, we should have taken out of that Oranguru, because then he wouldn't have had this draw support. But he might just grab another Tapu Lele. So then it's whatever. He could just grab a Monferno even. Yeah, just grab a Monferno. This actually kind of is, it's a little scary. I don't know if Infernape stacks or not. If Infernape stacks, this actually could be pretty bad. Because if he gets, like, if he's doing 120 damage just from burn, that's bad. All right, as long as we can keep getting heads on the burn, we should be okay. No. So we have to retreat or Guzma. Another energy. It's not really, We could even do Tapu Cure just for the memes. Hmm, I could just side strike this thing, but I, I think I gotta like maybe go into Lunala here. Maybe just take out that Oranguru right now. I could take out Monferno, or I could take out Oranguru, or I could bring out the Infernape. Hit it for 120, but we don't actually have any good spread cards, so I think I gotta just take out Oranguru. So this is kind of bad. We don't really have a good way of shutting down the Infernape. And Mewtwo's kind of just a sitting duck right now. It can get knocked out if he has a Guzma. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta move all the energy. Oh, rip. I was like, okay, I can just hit him for three. I forgot. Moon Guy's being four energies. That's so insane. Why would anyone want to do four energies? Alright, anyways. We could do Lunar Fall, though, and knock out maybe the Turdinator and keep the Strained in the active. That could actually be a pretty decent strategy. But I feel like if I'm going to take out that Infernape, I have to do, like, Psy Strike. Because I can't really rely on Lunala or even, like, just finding out Drampa. But I think I do Lunar Fall here. Because if we can keep Orangaroo stranded in the active, maybe we could do something with that. I think we actually will Lunar Fall that, of course. Almost knocked something off my chair, but I'm actually going to do this. Weird play, I know, but I want to get rid of his burn option, technically. There's a Cynthia. I, we're back in the game. If he doesn't find a way to get Rangro the active, we should be good to knock it out. Hopefully this pays off. This is actually a bit of a weird matchup for us. It's going to be a little tough to win, because we can't really one-shot the Turdinator or the Infernape without Mewtwo or Drampa. 
So this could be a little bit of a tough matchup. I'm not gonna lie, this could be a pretty weird game. But I don't mind that. I'd rather, I'd rather play against Infernape than um, a Zoark deck, so I can't complain. We'll see if my opponent is a Rangry with Stranded. We see Cynthia. Hopefully this does not give him Floatstone or like a Switch or something. Could have been worse. Could have been a Guzma, and then he could have just knocked out my Mewtwo with like Monferno. Mewtwo's a sitting duck, though. We need to find max potions ASAP, because Mewtwo is important. So he gets rid of Monferno. Something else. Probably could grab a second Infernape. I really want to know if Infernape's attack stacks or not. Oh yeah, we have Baby Lunala. We need to actually get that Baby Lunala in play too to one-shot the Infernapes. So there's a lot we gotta do here. I don't think this Lunala does much to not. Nah, Side Storm's weak. So, okay, we see a Palpad. We'll see if he gets back Guzma or not. He does. He actually gets back N too, which is interesting. And he still is stranded, so we can knock him out. There's a Max Potion. So we can heal Mewtwo. We can do Cynthia. Okay, that's a little better. We can get more energies in play, which is good. I actually don't know if I want to do that. Because the thing is, like... Okay, we're actually doing pretty decent here on our energy buildup. Now, I kind of want to get the other Lunala into play, and I think I'm going to do that. So I think we just Moon Guys Beam knock him out. And we'll take our prize. Psychic, okay. Yeah, I'm going to save this for the other Lunala, because we can one-shot Infernape. And then move all the energy off, so we can save our energy. Now, I, I really want to know if this thing stacks. If Flaming Fighter does stack, this could be pretty bad. No! Okay, he had two Sycamores in his hand. Never mind, I was like, bruh. Entei. Okay, that's another prize we can maybe take. Alright. 50. Okay, good. It does not stack. That would be pretty scary if it did, I'm not going to lie. And we're not burning anymore. Good. Alright, let's see what we draw. Drew an Ultra Ball. So I think what we do here is actually go Drampa. Oh wow, the Lunala's prize. Rip me. Okay, I still think I am going to save that spot though. We still have Super Rod, so it's like not the end of the world. We still have the other Lunala too. It's just, I'm not going to be able to be as blinged out as much. I think I honestly just don't even do Ultra Ball. I'm not really looking for anything. So what we'll do... Retreat into Drampa. We got a lot of energy moving to do here. So we're going to go one here. One here. One here. And probably just one there. It's going to spread out the energy a little bit. So we can take him out. I wish I had a Guzma so I can take out that Entei next turn. But we can knock out this Infernape for 150. Hopefully this prize is either for Guzma's prize or that Lunala. We get a Cosmog. Not great. So he's gonna build. Oh, turn All right. Guzma. All right. He is actually gonna bring a Lunala. I don't think he knocks me out. Yeah, he doesn't knock me out. We're so tanky. One option for him, though, he'd actually maybe try and Bray Burn me, but I doubt he plays Max Elixirs. Max Potion. I'm actually not going to play that because we do need to take advantage of... Uh, whoa, that popped up so quick. All right. But we do need to take advantage of um, Berserk, so I'm actually not going to Max Potion. Um, I guess we can do Ultra Balls, just trying to thin out the deck a little bit. I'll just give it a Cosmog, honestly, at this point. Grab Lele in case we do get knocked out. We can Lele for Guzma. So we can retreat. Drampa. Psychic transfer. Move the energy off. So we are kind of just chilling right now. We're in a pretty decent spot, I think. We have a lot of energy built up too, so we're all good. So let's see what this prize is. Sycamore. That helps because he might end me to two because I know we did pal pad that end back. We aren't even using this thing, though. I gotta use Lunala Prism Star. He does bring out the Entei, interestingly enough. So, unless he's not doing anything this turn, we can just put Choice Paint on and knock him out. He honestly might have to just retreat into Infernape. Or that Turdinator, if he finds a Floatstone. He doesn't, and that is indeed game. We hit him with a well-played. That was a really interesting match, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was a little scared, but once we kind of got our Dramp online, we were okay. And, uh, yeah, we 
did I bet with Noah Prize? But anyways, oh, whoops, it's frozen on the screen. I cannot see how many coins I got. Oh my good, okay, I got 25 coins. I've had that happen before where it's like been stuck on my screen. I'm just glad I got that Celestila. I was trying to trade for that Fuller Celestila for a couple days now, and I finally got it. I don't know if I overpaid or not. Probably not. I mean, no one really cares about Exeggutor and Fuller Man. Anyways. But I do want to make a Celestila Doug Trio video soon. I don't know if I'm going to make a Ferrisome, a Ferrimosa, and a, uh, a Zerkatree video. I know I said I would make Ultra Beast videos, but it's like, I don't know. Honestly, they're not really that good. I don't really know any good Ferrimosa decks that are even unique at this point. And I don't really know if I can do a Zerkatree. I could do Zerkatree. I don't know. We'll see. So we are going to Mulligan. Okay, we do have that turn one Brigid again, which is good. Ideally, you do want to start with either Mewtwo or Lunala Prism Star. Even Drampa isn't bad, because you can do Righteous Edge. And we'll see what he's playing. I think he's just playing Raichu. Yeah. He didn't start with Pachirisu, which is good. We are going to see an Ultra Ball. Probably going to get that Lele Bridget. Actually, I don't know if he was playing Lele or not. Hmm. No, he is. Okay. I couldn't remember if I saw Lightning and Psychic or like Lightning and Metal. So he is going to do a Wonder Tag for Bridget, most likely. Is there any way we can take out Pachirisu? I don't know if there is. Rip. That's four Pikachus and a Pachirisu. He does have the energy, so stuck in the active. Okay. Okay, we do have Rare Candy Lunala for next turn. And I don't mind using this Lunala either because it gives up one prize. Bridget is pri Bridget, why have three prize? The one time I do not want you to be prized. Be prized. Rip. I actually don't even think I grab anything. So I think I just do Sycamore. Rip me, Bridget. Why were you prized? It's like the one game I don't need you to be prized. And that whiffs, bruh. How unlucky can I get on my first turn? And right, hopefully we get some Cosmox here. Okay, that's good. And that hits, which is also good. You can full burst for 30. I don't mind this because it actually does soften this up to be maybe knocked out by Psy Strike. So... Oh yeah, and we can also soft weight, yeah, 180. Okay, that the 30 is actually relevant, because even Drampa with a choice band could actually knock out Raichu now, if it's this Pikachu. So he is going to retreat. That nuzzle is a little scary. Field Blower 2. Rip. If I could draw her a candy, I could maybe Guzma take out... No, we had a Sycamore? Yo, how do you get these good hands, good sir? I need to know. Floatstone too. He doesn't have to give up the energy, bro. What is this luck? My opponent, he's getting some pretty uh, god tier hands right now. This dude's hands are insane. How good are your start gonna be? Holy cow! Yeah, this nuzzle, the snuggly generator is a little OP right now. He got a lot of energy in play. We do get a super rod, which I don't really need. I'd like to Guzma and knock out one of those Pikachus. That'd be really nice, but I can't. So I think I just do Cynthia. And pray we don't get knocked out next turn by a Raichu, which... At this point, I don't know if that's not gonna happen. I think it is gonna happen. Okay, we just cannot seem to be drawing too well right now. We could just get knocked out, so maybe I just spread out the energy a little bit. We unfortunately have a pretty bad hand, too. I think I am going to try and spread out the energy as best as I can. I don't know. It could get knocked out next turn. It could be pretty bad. Aether Paradise is a weird card because it only really benefits the Pachirisu. We're probably a goner here. Hopefully he doesn't find Raichu. I'm praying that the Cynthia for 6 does not give him a Raichu. We need to get our Field Blower, but we only play 1, which kind of sucks. Super Rod, okay, gets back two energies. Could be worse, at least he doesn't get a Raichu back, I guess. No, he gets the Raichu, dang it. And he can just get rid of two cards as a need, dude. This dude's deck is playing so well right now. I think if he knocks me out, I just concede. I don't really think I can do much. I can, maybe I can hit him with Lele, I guess, but he has Thunder. 
He's gonna do another snuggly generator. So, like, we can't do anything right now, guys. I think I am gonna concede. All right, guys, let's get another game with our deck. I did find a game, and it was pretty good. It was against the Lapras deck. But he played Cyrus, and I thought you had to click the two Pokemon you wanted to keep, but... Oh, the Pokemon, yeah, you wanted to get rid of. Or, I don't know, whatever. I goofed, and I got rid of two Lunalos by accident. So I just was like, yeah, okay, bye. That game is not going anywhere. So we'll find another game. It looks like Vika Bulu is what we're playing against, I think. We do open with Lele. Lele, why? And we do have a pretty unfortunate hand here. If we get our Super Rod, I guess it's not that bad. We'll see what we're up against. Execute, okay. Looks like we're up against an Executor deck. Part of me kind of just feels like holding this hand, but I think I do Sycamore. It's whatever. We lose Guzma, which kind of sucks. Oh, wow. This is another weird hand. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to get rid of that Guzma. We could get N, so you never know. Holy cow, though. Why are these hands so bad? What is this? I don't want to get rid of two candies and a Guzma. What? Holy cow, man. This deck hates me. My opponent's going to do his own Guzma. And a Hypnosis. Okay. Please, can I draw a Luno? not helping I don't want to do sycamore I do not want to get rid of another Guzma this sucks dude this is why sycamore is such a double-edged sword are we gonna get knocked out by an executor we are because he lilies and that's definitely gonna get him executor Lele can do decent damage to him though but then we get knocked out by tower go round oh Lunala you suck Lunala is such a bad deck it can't even beat Ex executor he still can't wake up bro Okay, there we go. I'm going to do Guzma for now. I don't want to get rid of this hand. I don't know. I'm kind of in a bit of a pickle right now. Really, really want to get Ender draw Cynthia because I don't want to give up two rare candies. This is just not good. Lunala is, Lunala is such a bad deck that you just get bad hands. So it's like, you, you can't win. Skyla. Okay, I'm curious if he plays um, Venusaur or Vikavolt in his deck to charge up his Executor. I hope, please do not have a Float Stone and a Grass Energy. I swear if you do. I swear if this dude actually has Float Stone Grass Energy. Okay, thank you. Alright, we can do this, which is good. We can do Sycamore. Unfortunately, we do have to give up two candies. That really sucks. Max Elixir. Okay, at least that hit. So we can maybe use Lunala Prism Star soon, which is kind of hype. I can't knock him out. So I think what I'm going to do is just energy drive him. That sucks, though. We're already down two Guzmas, two candies, and we got a Lunala in the discard. This is not off to a good start. Ace Rolla, rip. So he's going to be able to knock me out with Tower Go Round. Does he have to move the energy? Oh, no, I don't think he does. No, rip. Okay, at least we can take advantage of Lunala Prison Star. There's a Super Rod. So I'm going to get back Cosmog, Lele, and Lunala. We'll end him to four. Please give me a couple basics. Okay, that's good. Still no Lunala GX, though, which kind of sucks. I am going to put Lele down. Don't think I'm going to grab anything. Or maybe I should have grabbed Dad. I don't know, it's fine. So we can do Full Moon Star. We can actually use Lunala Prism Star for once to our advantage. And I'm actually just going to charge up Lele. Maybe I should have put the other energy on Cosmo. And whatever. But now we actually have showed off Lunala Prism Star, so everything is all good. It's kind of the point of what this video was supposed to be. And I'm also showing off why I think Lunala GX is just bad. Lunala GX, man. I'm sorry, buddy. You just, you're never going to work in this format. Especially with Zoark. He can't even beat Exeggutor. This thing's tanky too, 220 HP. He does play Venusaur. I do want to make a Venusaur Exeggutor video too soon with the new Alolan Exeggutor and mix it up with a split of the two. So that video will be coming out soon, maybe even sometime this week, because as you saw in that Celestia trade, I actually just managed to acquire that thing. Oh, I forgot he could do Tropical Head! I'm bad at this game. Totally forgot about Trouble Head. Dude, I cannot draw anything right now. Like, my hands are 
just trash. Forgot about Jabu Head. Alright, hopefully this Max Luxor hits. Son of a son of a gun. I wish I had Choice Band right now so I could take out Executor. This would be a really good turn for me. But I think we just hit him with Tapu Lele GX. Maybe I could have Lunar followed the Bulbasaur too. Actually, no, I need Psy Strike. Yeah, it sucks. I could have done Psy Strike if I had Choice Band, so that sucks. I guess that's why it's better to play more than two. Please do not have Rare Candy Venusaur. A Guzma. So he's going to bring out Lunala again. He really doesn't like this thing. I guess we'll have to retreat him. He's going to hit Mewtwo. Okay. So now we can knock him out, which is good. There's a Guzma. That could be good, too. Maybe we can take out more Executes. So we definitely have a knockout here. Now, I think I'm actually going to move that energy off Mewtwo just in case he somehow gets knocked out. So 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Alright, we definitely have a knockout. I doubt Mewtwo will get knocked out, but you never know. So we'll energy drive, take out this Executor. He has no other Executors in place, so now Ludala's making a small, small comeback. There's an Ace Rolla, and that's good, and a Psychic Energy is also not too bad. So we're starting to make a bit of a comeback here, folks, after a bit of a rough start. You know Lunala's bad when you're going to lose to an Alolan Executor deck, but we are making a comeback. Super odd. Hopefully he doesn't have a supporter. I think next turn I might actually Guzma the Orangaroo. Either I Guzma, Execute, or Orangaroo. I take out his draw support, or I take out Bulbasaur. So he's actually opting to sacrifice this. Interesting. Hmm. What to do? Whoa, 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 why are you spamming hello? Fam. Fam, chill, chill, fam. Chill. Chill. Ice on my neck, baby. Chill with me. Chill. Chill, chill. Yo, this dude's... Yo, he's salty. This dude is salty, bro. Holy cow. Chill out. Bro, how many hellos does he have to spam? I'm not gonna report him or anything, but this is this is memeable. I'm just gonna troll him, I don't know. So we'll take him out with Moonguy's beam. I'm gonna save the Goose. I might as well save it for an execute. You can't get an execute on that. Well maybe actually lately is kinda scary with the bolt the Venusaur combo. I don't know. I'd rather I mean Okay, he just passes. We're definitely chilling right now. He concedes. Oh my gosh. The salt was real. Alright, can we get enough coins out of this box to get a pack of Ultra Prism? Rip. Alright, but I think I'm going to wrap up the video. This one might have been a little shorter. But again, Lunala is not really one of those decks I seek out to play every single day. But unfortunately, Lunala just doesn't get the job done, guys. <coughs> Bless me. But even with, even with Lunala Prism Star, I don't think Lunala can still be good. It's still got a long way to go. I wish Lunala had like a really good fighting type Pokemon that you could run. Like Marshadow technically is really the only logical fighting type you could put in your deck. Because you could run Marshadow here, and you could copy Mewtwo and Drampa's attacks. Which is not a bad option, in all honesty. The problem with Marshadow, it's only got 150 HP. It's so, it's so easy to knock out. Plus, it's weak to Psychic, which is also not a good weakness to have. I don't think Marshadow would work. Like, I wish we just had a good fighting type. I mean, Marshadow could be a fun little tech card you could put in here at the end of the day. I, I don't think it would be bad. But again, I don't think it'd be good. There's just, like, no real good fighting type. Unless you want to run Rainbow Energy or Fighting Energy deck, like, you could probably get away with that. But again, I think Marshadow is really the only logical fighting type. You could run Lycanroc, I guess, too, if you do want to play Rainbow Energy. But yeah... I think Marshadow would be the only good option for finding types you could put in Lunala. But I think I'll wrap for the day's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully Pokemon comes out with a good finding type to help Lunala out. Because Zoar is very popular. We did dodge a bullet. We actually didn't play against Zoar deck. We played against three rogue decks, which is kind of cool. But yeah, we did lose to the Executor deck. Or we beat the Executor deck, so I don't know why I said we lost to it. I think we lost... I forgot. What, what deck did we play? What was the deck we played before...
um, after the Infernate deck. I can't remember, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Don't get to subscribe to help me on the road to 3k subs. Lunala Prism Star, unfortunately, it helps Lunala a little bit, but it's not what it needs. I think this deck just needs more good attackers. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Hell on the Road to 3,000 subscribers. I want to see if we can hit 3k by summer. Thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.